What's up guys, Jono here, back in Frisco at it again. Gorgeous house, Chapel Creek, five bedrooms, six bathrooms, 5,000 square feet. Man, oh man, let's do it. Okay, this house has so many cool features. Where do I even start? Right off the rip, I wanna show you this office and the really cool feature that's built in there. I love the color of these walls. This dark, I'm gonna call that sage. I don't know, what do you call that, um, green? Sage. Sage. Sage, that's the word for it. At first glance, this just appears like a traditional office, run of the mill, what you'd expect in a million and a half dollar home. Beautiful, hard, built-ins, very heavy, almost all the way to the ceiling. The inlays in the ceiling, this thing is gorgeous. Oh, you know, you already know it. Check this out, I love hidden stuff, right? You've got this additional desk in here, already wired for TV, closed captioning. This is just really cool. Okay, moving on. Not exactly a panic room, but hidden room in the office. I just love that. Let's check out the garage. Hey fellas, the garage. Well, ooh la dee da, Mr. French man. What do you call it? A car hole. On our way to the garage, you come in from the entryway. You've got this formal living room right over here with the office off of the formal. And then you have your formal dining room this way. A house like this was built to entertain, right? So you're not only are you on a corner lot, so you've got lots of street parking, You've got a driveway that runs up the side and then a swing garage. We'll show that to you right now. Hold on to your hats. Okay, so nothing crazy about the garage. I don't have my tape on me, but I would say this is probably extended maybe two feet. You could definitely fit the F-150 in here or the 250, although depending upon the height, you may run into some trouble with the door but you've got these massive 11 foot ceilings in the garage. So if you had to park the F-250 in here, we could do some modifications to the garage door. Laundry room right off the garage. In fact, let me check something. There is another garage. So it is a three car garage. I don't know that we're gonna have access to that one because I don't think there's a door inside. But I love this swing garage out here. So if you wanted to park in the driveway and not mess with opening the doors, you've got this access through the laundry room into the house. Nice touch. Sink in the laundry room, as you'd expect in a property like this. Now, you've got a pool. So what happens when people use the pool? They need to potty. Hopefully they're not potty in, in the pool. God, I hope not. So you've got the door coming through here all the way through the tile so that they're not getting your beautiful hardwood floors wet. And then you have access to this half bath right here. Okay, as you come in through the master, you've got these beautiful hand scraped hardwood floors, massive room. The video and the pictures online do not do this thing justice. This is why it's important. If you see a house that you really like, don't make the decision just off of the photography a lot of agents cut corners with photos and you may be missing out on that. But right off the master suite, you have this, hello, hello. I think there's somebody here with me. You have, a, uh, you have this beautiful pool, which we'll come back to there, but wanted to definitely highlight the uh, access off of the master. All right, well, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling just in case I get abducted by aliens. Somebody came in, went out through the garage door, hit the button on their way out. I didn't see them. Okay, master suite, closets eat first, right? Look at all this hang space. Holy crap, look at all this closet space. Top side, low side, built-ins, beautiful. Even the touches in the lighting, great job, guys. Okay, now the master bath. So, dual vanities, separate tub, separate shower. You got the view right out back. Nice and private, you can open those up, get some light in or close them for a little privacy. Very nicely laid out. So why don't we show you upstairs and then we'll come back and hit the kitchen and the pool. Okay, 
One of the things I love about these big houses in Chapel Creek, everybody gets their own bathroom. So upstairs, you got this cool little ledge where you can do your push-ups or, you know, whatever you do on cool little ledges. I don't do that stuff anymore. Top of the stairs, we got bedroom two with an ensuite. We got bedroom three with an ensuite. Bedroom four. Let me guess. You guessed it, private ensuite. And then as you climb up into the game room, you've got the kitchenette, sink, wine fridge, beer fridge, whatever you're into. Bedroom five has access to the bath. It's not private, so this would be the bathroom that the upstairs guests, the game room folks would use. And then across the other side of the game room we have, we step down into the proper media room. No windows, screen built in, surround sound. I think you hear me knocking. So, a couple of things. And you see this throughout. The attention to detail in the finishing touches. Solid core doors, which helps. So when you're in a media room, you want, if you can help it, for the media room to be away from everyone else. Carpeting helps with sound dampening. Solid doors on the media also helps with sound. But the upstairs is fairly closed off. A lot of times you'll see this big railing where you've got this at the front, but that's, that's really it. So any sound that's up here is obviously gonna spill over down in that way. So if you have a pool table, pinball, racquetball, pickleball, football, whatever balls you're playing with in your game room. Oh, come on, you set me up for that one. Man, this is gorgeous. Look at these hand scrape, nailed down, hardwood floors. What's the detail, not only on the steps, but the baseboards, this finishing work, the quarter round. It's just nice, clean, very luxurious. All right, what do you think so far, right? If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and like the video. Uh, if we know what videos you like, we'll be sure and shoot more properties like that. Speaking of properties we like, what do you think of this kitchen? OG Edge, which some people say this is dated. I really, I like the OG Edge. Wolf appliances, both the double oven and the drop-in range with the pot filler on the backside what you would expect to see in a luxury home of this caliber. Sub-Zero fridge, microwave separate, got some blown glass, nice accents, cabinets go all the way up, the accent over the range, very nice, lots of detail, can't go wrong. Now this slate floor, to me this is timeless. You've got the variation, but it's the, the color scheme, the tile, the wood, it all works. Very Texas, very luxury, very big, lots of arches. Man, you can't go wrong with this. You're gonna wanna show this off. You're gonna wanna entertain. Speaking of entertaining, how about a pull-up contest in the Harry Potter closet? I'm not weak. Oh, that's not a pull-up rig, my bad. Okay, I know, you wanna see the pool. I'm gonna show you the pool right now. Now, besides the property, there's a lot of really great things that go with living in Frisco. Specifically with this address, this one is slated for Frisco High, go raccoons. Uh, there's 12 high schools right now in Frisco. If you want more details on why you should be looking at Frisco, Check out this video right here. We break down the top five reasons why you should be looking at Frisco and not Dallas as a whole. But if you need a little bit more action, if you click on this link, we've got access to a playlist, all the properties, all the ins and outs, the pros and cons, Frisco. There's gonna be so much information that you're gonna to wanna to check out there. So don't miss out on that. Okay, outdoor entertaining area. The theme here is entertaining. Who's buying the booze? Got the fireplace. You got the hot tub spilling over into this beautiful straight line pool. You got the diving board. And you know what else? Lots of privacy. Got the grill set up. I love that it's not covered. And you got these beautiful trees. You got the wrought iron fence so that you've got, it just gives the appearance that this yard goes on forever and ever. 
Oh gosh. So this is why you check the doors behind you before you go back inside. I've seen to have locked myself out. Do you have the key? I keep the key on me. The same key that unlocks the front door, unlocks the back door, and we're back in business. All right, guys, what do you think? Is this one a winner? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think of this property. Is it worth 1.5? Till next time. Bye, Felicia.